Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my May favorites. And this month I have about five or six products that I picked up that I really liked. So I'm going to review them today and guys how I like them. So if you think you'll enjoy this video, please keep watching. So first is a foundation that I've really, really liked using lately. It's a drugstore product. So this is the Maybelline. Uh, matte and poreless foundation. I really like it. It dries matte and uh, I use the shade 222. It's called True Beige. So if you're looking for a really matte and poreless foundation, I would definitely go with this drugstore Maybelline Fit Me foundation go with the Fit Me Foundation. I really like their Maybelline New York um, Fit Me Concealer. So when I bought it from CVS, it had like a security sensor on it. So I wasn't able to remove it. So I thought I could get it off when I got it home, but I couldn't. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Fair. And I really, really like this. I really like the applicator because it's kind of like the Naked Urban Decay where I can just draw it on and I really like that because I don't have to get another brush wet or anything so this is really great if you're looking for a drugstore concealer. Next up is eyebrows and I've always struggled with my eyebrows. So I didn't, I've tried so many different products that I had a friend who recommended using a eyebrow pencil and I just picked up the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I really like this pencil because there's a fly in my room and it's been flying around my head this whole time so if you hear a fly yeah that's it because it's really small and it gets into all those areas where you can fill. So if you're looking for a drugstore product for your eyebrows, I definitely go with the NYX Micro Eyebrow Pencil. Since I do a lot of makeup tutorials, I wear a lot of fake eyelashes. So I have started using the glue that came with the eyelashes, but I didn't really like it as much. So I started using the Duo Brush On Adhesive in Dark. So I wear a lot of black eyeliner. A special occasion coming up this summer and you're gonna wear fake eyelashes, I would definitely go pick this duo brush on adhesive. I don't buy highlighters too often, but one of my favorite highlighters that I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Glow Kit. So it comes in something like this, like a little book. It has four powdered highlighters in it and I like to use these in the corner of my eye under my eyebrow like I did right here and I like to use it on the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, tip of my nose, just places like the high points of my face. This one is called Hard Candy. This one is Mimosa, Starburst, and Crushed Pearl. This right here is my favorite. I love Starburst. It's a real pretty pinky sparkly shade so if you're looking for a highlighter like a good quality highlighter this is actually this is $40 and it comes with four pretty big pans of highlight which will last you for life so if you're looking for something like that I definitely go with one of these and there's a lot of drugstore highlighters I personally don't have any uh, I can pick some up and review them if you guys would like that but this is my favorite gleam glow kit now this is a product that almost any makeup addict has it is the um, urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray and I'm a little late to the game of this I've seen so many girls use it and I'm thinking, oh, that's probably the last thing on my list that I want to go pick up from Ulta or Sephora is a setting spray. I would rather go pick up something else that I probably use more often, but I thought I would go ahead and pick up the smaller version of it, and I'm obsessed. 
I use it all the time. I really like spraying it on my brushes right now and I spray it on a brush and I kind of shake it and then I dip it into a really sparkly shadow because sometimes when you put on those sparkly shadows they just kind of fall but with when you spray this on your brush it really packs it in and makes it kind of dense so I'm really really loving this and then also just spraying it all over my face which I'm gonna do right now because I just love it so much If you're really wanting something like this, this is definitely not a necessity, but um, since I picked it up, I really like it. So if you were wanting your makeup to last longer throughout the day, I would really recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And last but not least is something I have been obsessing over. I use this every day, all the time, throughout the day. And I actually have it on right now. It is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish and oh my gosh. But I saw a pack of these at Sephora and I think I'm missing one so don't judge me. But I think there were six of them but I only have five right now. I think one's in like my purse or in my car or something. But these glosses are so nice. So these are the glosses. I've been sometimes just wearing these on their own or I'll put them over a, a matte liquid lipstick just to add a little shine. I really like these. I've been wearing them every day. Right now I'm wearing the shade Julie. So they're selling these at Ulta and I got mine at Sephora but you can get them I think in a pack of six. So I don't know where my six one is so I'm sorry. but. Right now, my favorite is this one, is Jane. I can show you the applicator. God, this damn flies. This is the applicator. That's all I have for you guys today. That's all of my May favorites, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.